Good morning, it's Shan here. Welcome or welcome back to Golf with Shan. Today I am coming at you from the beautiful Suwon Golf and Country Club here near Bangkok, Thailand. All the golf courses are about an hour out and it's kind of inconvenient to call a cab so you do have to kind of book the transport service which can be quite expensive. It's totally worth it. Look at these golf courses. I can't even compare these to anything we have in Toronto, at least the public ones that I am able to get on. Um, these just blow my mind. Suwon Golf and Country Club is a long golf course. Off the white tees, it plays a total of 6,330 yards with a slope of 132. They didn't have a woman's slope rating, so this is the men's slope rating. Hole number one, let's start off with a par four, 368 yards, slight dogleg left with water down the left side. Best shot off the tee is to aim right of the first bunker in front of us. I hooked mine a bit off the tee and luckily didn't have enough distance to reach the bunker. However, being center of the fairway will give you the best clear look into the green. It was also quite windy this day. Hole number two is the second longest hole on this golf course. Par five, 521 yards. Big dog leg right after your tee shot. Off the tee, it's best to hit a fade over the solo palm tree directly in front. If you have the distance to carry the bunker, probably 250 yard carry will do. You can make the hole a lot shorter with some risk. The fairways are quite soft, especially if it's close to rainy season where it rains a few hours every day and then bright sun for the rest of the day. You know when you eat street food with chilies and then all night you just... Anyways, that's how I'm feeling today, but this golf course is beautiful, so we'll see. Hole number three is a par three, 143 yards to the pin. I like that they put the actual yardage right on the tee box, it's very helpful. There is water in front and two bunkers in front and behind. The right side is safe. Somehow I can't make these when it's for birdie. Is it just me? Can you relate? All right, hole number four is a par four, 356 yards. Luckily, the water on the right will come more into play around the green. Similar to my previous video at Summit Windmill Golf Club, if you haven't checked it out, it will be linked down below. This golf course also has water in play on almost every single hole. I hit a fade here, but you'll want to stay left of the solo palm tree to find the fairway. Hole number five, par five, 481 yards. My caddy's instructions to me were coconut left, water right. Enough said, that's all you need to know. This is a slightly zigzag par five, but the general direction to the green is straight. There is a section of the water pond that cuts in. I could have hit a shorter club off the tee because the fairway really narrows right here.
Hole number six is a par three playing 140 yards to the pin. Water to the right side of the tee box isn't really in play, but there are bunkers around the green. Again, the right side up to the green is fairway. Hole number 7 is a long par 4, 401 yards. Off the tee, you'll want to go straight ahead, staying left of the bunkers on the right side of the fairway. I actually hit a very solid 3-wood here and came up just short. <laughs> Hole number 8 is another long par 4 for me, 395 yards over water off the tee. There is a bunker straight ahead, that is where you want to aim. There is water on the left side near the green as well, so just be careful. Final hole on the front nine, par 4, 363 yards. There is water on both sides off the tee. You'll want to stay on the left side of the fairway here because there is a tree that gets in the way of your approach shot. Exhibit A. So far, I would say this is a very enjoyable golf course. It is beautiful with all the palm trees everywhere. It's a bit long, but not too difficult that it's annoying, you know? All right, let's check out the back nine, starting with hole number 10, a straight par four, 353 yards, water on the left side of the palm trees and bunkers around the green. My 5-iron is not always reliable, and here is an example. Hole number 11 is a par 5, 488 yards. There is water in front of the tee box for your tee shot. The water then continues up the left side for the first section of the fairway. Then the water cuts through the fairway, dividing the fairway into two sections and continues up the right side towards the green. Hole number 12 is a par 3, playing 148 yards to the pin, water in front, followed by a giant bunker, then green. 
I don't remember the wind direction of every shot, but it was windy, so that definitely impacted the yardages throughout the day. A good putt to save bogey here. Hole number 13 is a par 4 of a reasonable distance, 348 yards. Water on the right off the tee, but it technically shouldn't be in play as it ends about 150 yards out. The rest of the hole is fairly open and straight with a few bunkers. Hole number 14 is a 90 degree dogleg left, 389 yards, water on both sides. It is safe to go straight ahead off the tee. You will see on my second shot where the hole turns to the left. The green is sitting on a bit of a mound, so definitely club up on your approach shot. I left mine a bit right here, but I'm noticing it's my alignment and not my swing. Easy fix, I'll work on this on my own. To balance out hole number 14, hole number 15 is a big dog leg right around the water. Off the tee you'll want to aim right of the big bunker unlike what I did here. There was a group of locals ahead of us who let us play through. Thank you, but the pressure on this par 3, 156 yards with water all around the green. You'll see in a second. Wind was really pushing on this hole. Good thing I hit a decent shot here, avoiding embarrassment. It is stressful to play through a group, let alone with a camera, because the expectations are high. Hole number 17 is a par 4, 347 yards, dog leg left. Pretty straightforward off the tee until you arrive at your second shot into the green. There is water on the left, if you couldn't tell already, and bunkers on the right side of the green. I chose the lesser of two evils. And this is one of the best bunker shots I've ever hit in my life. This is how we save par today. There is also water on the right side behind the bunkers, so don't go right either. Okay. 
And finally, hole number 18 is the longest hole, par 5, 572 yards from the white tees. Dog leg left around the trees, it's safe to cut the corners a bit with a carry distance over 200 yards. Again, the soft fairways completely sprayed me with dirt, lol, but I have to shower anyways from all the sweating, so it's all good. Water stream down the left comes across in front of the green. I actually hit the bridge here but bounced into the water. If your ball does land on the bridge or on any of the walkways, it is a free drop. Just finished. We really enjoyed this golf course. It is beautiful. I feel like every course we play here, just one after another, is more and more beautiful. Yeah, it's a difficult course. I like that it's really open and there's a lot of palm trees. We had a few coconuts drop while we were hitting, so that's really fun. You can always see the lizards, iguanas. Sometimes there's like a wild dog on the golf course. I feel like playing from the white tees was the right choice though, even though it is a little bit of a long golf course for me. So I had almost every hole about 150 to 160 into the green, whether that's uphill with the wind, against the wind, it's always, it always comes out to that same yardage. But I do like playing from the white tees because you get a full sense of the golf course and the golf course design. A lot of the times when you go up to the red tees, you miss like half of the hole. Like you miss the water in front, the creek that cuts across, you miss some of the trees. It's just a different golf course. About to head home and take a shower. The good thing about starting earlier in the day is that we finish 18 before lunchtime. So around noon, we've been finishing in three hours, which is great. Um, it's also right before the temperature gets to the high 30s so we're usually off the golf course when it gets to about 34 35 which is perfect thank you so much for watching if you enjoy this video like always make sure to hit that like button for me it really helps out the channel if you haven't joined us already make sure to hit that subscribe button I will be making a lot more golf and travel content for you guys so I will see you in my next video bye